Like I mentioned, a value doesn't have to be a string. It can be an object. So let me actually change this to an object. So I'm gonna call this app data service. So it's basically some data, it doesn't have to be just one. So I have an inline object over here where I populate it with a bunch of different things. So I'm gonna call the name of the app, be contact app and uh, the author is Kaushik and the company is Java Brains and the version is one. All right, simple object and this is the value that the app data service is gonna hold. Now I have changed the service, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the controllers which depend on that service I'm gonna paste that instead. So what is getting injected is the service again. But now app.title is gonna be app data service dot name. Similarly, this is gonna be app data service dot name. Let me refresh the page to make sure things work. Yes, they do. Now there is another API which is very similar to value and it's called constant, right? So this is a way to define a constant value in your Angular application. When you know that there is a value that's not going to change, you can use the app.constant. The API is still the same. You give that constant a name, and then the second argument is the value of that constant. And then again, you can use the constant by injecting it in your controller like this, right? You get this, it's going to be the value that you've declared, and then you can use the properties for instance, right? If you're using a primitive, it's just gonna be a primitive. Pretty much the same. The difference between value and constant is really in the one scenario where you can use a constant where you cannot use a value, and that's in the app configuration phase. That's beyond the scope of this course, so I'm not gonna be covering that. I do encourage you to look it up if you're really interested in learning the difference, but for the most part, you would really know what you're gonna get when you use a constant versus a value. It's gonna be this value object or a value function or a primitive that can be dependency injected into the controllers. So I'm not gonna belabor the constant part of it, but just know that there are two different APIs in order to get this kind of an object. Now, the cool thing about the value and the constant APIs is that it's not just an object. You can also have a function that's passed in. So let's say I have another function. Uh, let's say I have another value over here, like app.value. I'm gonna say logging service, and the value is gonna be a function, right? I'm gonna have an inline function here, which is gonna be a logging function. I'm gonna log something, right? So I'm gonna say console.log hello, right? So this is a value. Right? Just like an object over here. This, let me change this back to value. Just like you had declared an object value and given it a name, here I'm declaring a function value and giving it a name called logging service. Now this is also something that can be injected. In JavaScript, functions are pretty much objects, right? So I can inject this over here and I can call this. Since this is a function, I can call the function by doing open close and uh, let me do that again here so I'm essentially calling a value which is a function and that function just prints console.log of hello so let's test this out I'm going to refresh the page and open the console it has printed hello twice so the value API is not just for shared data, you can also use shared functionality, which is really, really cool.